Jesus Christ. This bout is sponsored by HMT. <laughs> Introducing to you first, the challenger, fighting out of the red corner from First Legion, weighing in at 84 kilos. Give it up for Charlie O'Neill. <laughs> and across the ring from him, the champion from Fighting Fit Martial Arts Academy, weighing in at 84 Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is our co main event of the evening between Charlie O'Neill from First Legion in the red corner and Brett Stanforth from Fighting Fit Martial Arts in the blue corner. And Brett Stanforth is our current reigning champion, so we shall see who, which one of these guys wants that belt more. Yeah, I think it's almost fitting that we come back to K1 to almost round up the night, Tomic. We've had a fantastic card of K1, MMA and boxing as well. But the K1 has really stood out tonight. All the guys who fought have been absolutely stand out. And I'm looking forward to a good bout between Charlie O'Neill and Brett Stanforth here. Yeah, I certainly am. And you can see straight away the, the level of these guys. I mean, they're filling each other out. They're throwing feints. And uh, just there, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're even checking. They're checking their kicks and they're just filling each other out here as uh, Charlie, uh, the Brett, sorry, has a really nice uh, leg kick right there in front of us. Yeah, both of these guys, very cerebral fighters. We've got Brett Stanforth, the champion, versus Charlie O'Neill, the challenger. Charlie O'Neill fighting out of the red corner in first legion. Brett Stanforth fighting out of the blue corner, oh fighting goodness. fit mixed martial arts. And Brett Stanforth lands a big combination there. He certainly did. This guy can bang. I mean, those were hard shots. But, oh, he felt that leg kick too. He's the champ for a reason, Tom Egg. We know he can bang. We just have to see if he starts to open up or if Charlie O'Neill starts to take advantage. Yeah, I think from what I've seen so far, I think uh, Charlie wants to fight on the outside and uh, Brett seems quite comfortable being on the inside with those uppercuts and big looping hooks. Referee Dan Moverheady there, just breaking these guys up. No clinching in MMA, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to keep the action going the whole time. Big right leg round kick there from Brett Stanforth. It yeah, certainly was. And Brett's doing a really good job covering up. A few of these shots are getting through. A bit of a wild, uh, bit of a wild swing there. And he's lifting up his leg, but the leg kicks of Charlie are still landing, even though he's trying to check them. So we're going to have to keep an eye on the lead, uh, lead left leg of, uh, of our champion here in a, in a later round, should it go this far. Yeah, Charlie O'Neill just ate one there, though. A big right hand just coming across the front of the face of Charlie O'Neill. Brett Stanford throwing that. May look to get lucky with it a little bit later on in the fight as well. O'Neill does seem to be open. He certainly does. Um, quite quite enjoying these guys, they're both really relaxed even though they're trying to take each other's heads off. Yeah, both taking their time. Any prospective K1 fighters out there probably learn a lot from these two. Good mid-level K1 here, both of these guys thinking on their feet, really taking their time in this fight. And you can see that they're both feeling each other out and really looking to break their opponent down. Yeah, they definitely are. But uh, quite a few leg kicks have landed so far for uh, Brett. And uh, he's, his leg is going to be hurting already here in the first round. So Again, he's trying to wade in. That is not the way forward, my man. He needs to set those up with combinations. He needs to be a bit more clever than that. But Stanforth maybe just looking for a spinning kick there. Just stopped himself. Oh, there he is. There he goes. <laughs> Beautiful. Here we go, round two of our middleweight title fight here at the Open. And let's see what, uh, if any, game changes our fighters come out with. 
Brett Stanforth with a lovely uppercut just through the centre of the guard of Charlie O'Neill there. Fantastic punching combinations so far from Brett Stanforth. Charlie O'Neill's looked dangerous himself, but it has been Stanforth so far who's been just about edging it for me. Yeah, all in. And finally now, uh, Brett has started to check a few of his leg kicks. And these looping right hands of his are really working well for him. They really are, and he seems to have realised that O'Neill is open for combinations, but he does have to just take his time, throwing big, big shots singularly at the moment. But it's going to be the combinations that really win it here for Brett Stanforth, if he realises and if he takes advantage. Yeah, definitely, that's what he's had success with. Those, uh, like I say, those singular, big, overhanding looping rights don't really do it. Oh, a nice, a nice flurry there. Both guys uh, landing shots in that exchange. And now Brett coming off with a leg kick of his own, saying, if you want to leg kick me, I can leg kick you too. Almost, almost a reverse punch there from Charlie O'Neill. Really, really low. Just coming from uh, almost his waist there, karate style. But we're back now. And the guard of Charlie O'Neill just dropping a little bit now. Brett Stanforth may be looking to take advantage of that. Yeah, definitely he would, should look to capitalise on that. On the, and his opponent being a little bit tired, but he went for a leg grab there, which is not allowed. He's not allowed to hook the leg like that. It's not MMA. But the ref, our referee runs up the action there. And there's a nice combination there from Brett Stanforth. That's going to be the, his way to victory, I feel, in this oh. one. Although just landed a nice big right hook there. It was a huge right hook, but Charlie just shook it off. Now the guy obviously has got a good chin on him. He's got a chin of granite. But uh, Brett, this time choosing to mix it up and still finishing with a right hook goes for a body kick, uh, leg kick. I'd like to see him uh, utilise that weapon a bit more. Another big right hook and Charlie O'Neill just saying, you ain't going to hurt me, son. I'm coming right back. I wonder what's going through Brett Stanforth's mind right now. It must be something along the lines of, oh, my Lord, what have I got to do to put this guy on the ground? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, there were two really big shots and Charlie just uh, shook them off, so he's obviously, uh, you, you, know, you know, he's got a, obviously a chin of granite. Goes for another teep there. He Certainly has, seasoned fighter. Yeah, both guys experience showing here in the second round. We've only, uh, we've only got about 15, 20 seconds left, so. Oh my goodness. Let's see who wants this more in the final nine seconds. Yeah, stinging punches coming from both guys. Charlie O'Neill shown he's got a chin of granite here. Brett Stanford shown he's got the bombs to match. The question is, ladies and gentlemen, what happens when the unbeatable force meets the immovable object? We'll find out in the third round. Showing very nice cardio as uh, oh, as Brett opens up with a nice leg kick of his own right there. The both guys obviously very well conditioned for this fight. Neither of them, in terms of cardio, I don't think have been faced, have they, Tom? No, I certainly don't think they have. I mean, they are really taking their time, and it, and it shows. The fact that they are more composed means that they aren't going to expend quite so much energy. Brett Stanforth coming out firing here early on in round number three. But you're right, the cardio for these guys is certainly of a high level. And it's easy to tell why they're topping the bill and why they're going for a title. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. And they're both sort of playing around with uh, push kicks in this third round. I don't know if uh, maybe they are a little bit taxed here, but a nice left hook from, uh, from Brett there. I'm almost concerned for Brett Stanforth because Charlie O'Neill is eating some of his best punches here and doesn't... His expression hasn't changed, Tomek. He's been eating these big punches on the chin, on the forehead, straight on the nose. And every single time he does it, he has got a face, a real poker face. Just not even changing his expression. No, he definitely isn't. And not only that, but there's no, even the mark on him. As opposed to uh, Brett, you know, Brett is showing a few signs of uh, damage on his face. So you, you also have to ask yourself, the judges sometimes look at that as well when they can't decide, you know, they'll look at damage. And in terms of damage, there is uh, some red marks showing on the Brett's leg and on his face as well, and his body as well. So, you know, you know this, this, all these things could be factors when it comes to scoring a fight at the end. And the question we need to ask ourselves is, what is Charlie O'Neill made of and how do we get our hands on it? Yeah, he's definitely made some stirring stuff here. You see why he's uh, earned his 
halfway to the title shot here at Contenders. Brett Stanforth really connecting with these shots. I mean, they are strong. They are landing. Charlie O'Neill's not really making too much of an effort to, to block or even to slip them. But he is just eating them and taking them and not even, not even being affected. No, I don't know. Maybe he's thinking about the later rounds if he wants to pace himself. If he wants to cover up here, goes for a nice knee. Quite possibly. This is Brett Stanforth's the first real test as champion, I mean, and he's doing well. He's come up against a strong opponent here. He's certainly racking up favour with the judges, but Charlie O'Neill's still very much in this fight. He definitely is. I think he could be fighting, you know, clever here. Is it a case of him being that tired, or is it a case of he wants to pace himself and then open up in a, in a last or, you know, last two rounds? We'll soon see. For me, I'm thinking O'Neill's possibly a little bit gassed at the moment. Still standing strong. Clinching in the K1, never a good sign for a fighter. It means often means they're tired, often means they're looking for a small break. So let's see exactly what transpires here. Last 10 seconds of round number three. Let's see what goes down in round number four. best as a champion rearing up the uh, the crowd right here at the open he's brought quite a following with him here tonight yeah and trying so to psych the crowd up trying to get them on his side to get a little bit of energy here for the fourth round he certainly is he's starting to utilize that ducking one and two combination again but he hasn't had that much success with it he had more success with being more technical Great work there from Charlie O'Neill pushing Stanford up against the cage. I think there's going to be a turning point here in this fight, Tomek. I can feel it coming. Something is on the horizon. I may well have just put my cards on the table a little bit too early there, but I can no, feel no, something no. coming in this fight. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. I mean, uh, I, I feel like Charlie's keeping uh, like an ace up his sleeve, like he's going to explode here any moment. He's, uh, he's taking his time. He wants Brett to gas. And it, well, that's a nice knee there. I don't know what the issue is. It was, it was a low blow. Did it seem low? Referee Dan Moverheady just checking, bringing them back to the centre of the cage. Body shots. More good combinations there from Brett Stanforth, but nothing doing here. Charlie O'Neill still standing strong. A nice front push kick, just keeping Stanforth at a distance, coming back with a little jab cross combination of his own. Yeah, that was nice. And once again, the ref's going to break them up from the clinch. It's like you said, when they start to clinch, they're obviously tired. And we are in the fourth round. We're quite deep in the fight here. This has been a really quite a back and forth uh, fight. Be, it's going to be a nightmare for the judges to score this. It really is. I mean, you could argue that Stanford has scored a few really, really big points on O'Neill, which is a certain fact. However, you could also argue who's, who's sustained the most damage, who's been the most consistent. There is a case for O'Neill to be considered that fighter. So it is going to be a tough one for the judges to call. But like I say, I think there is something on the horizon, Tom X. Something's going to change in this fight. Yeah, I definitely agree. I think we're really going to see who wants this most in this in this final round coming up because it definitely looks like we are going to get there. And uh, I don't know if Brett Brett has been really quite aggressive. He's, he hasn't left much hanging there, and I really feel that like Charlie's composed himself. He's paced himself a little bit better. So hopefully in this in this last round now coming, we're going to see who the true champion is. Another nice stiff jab there from Brett Stanford, sticking it into the guard, or through the guard rather, of Charlie O'Neill. But Charlie O'Neill comes forward one more time, opens up his guard. Brett Stanford again with a nice straight jab through the middle. These guys have been going back and forth. Another big left hook there from Brett Stanford, but Charlie O'Neill just shakes it off again. Another big left hook from Brett Stanford, but Charlie O'Neill again just shakes it off. It's just back and forth, Tomek. Yeah, he is, but he can't, you know, he can't keep eating these shots. And in the hands of the judges, you know, who's been the aggressor? Who's doing the damage? It's, it's Brett. So uh, the first Legion fighter, you know, he, he needs to really put it on in this last round now coming. Final 10 seconds here, and Brett Stanford is going on a bit of a rampage as we move into the last round.
Fifth and final round. Let's see if what we talked about is going to materialise. This fight's come to a header now. Um, I was listening, it just earwigging in on the corner talk of Charlie O'Neill, and they were saying to him, you need this round. You need to have a big round here. You have to finish this fight because you are behind on the judges' scorecards. Whether or not that's the case, ladies and gentlemen, it does mean that Charlie O'Neill is probably going to have to open up a little bit here in the fifth and final round. And Brett Stanforth will not be liking that. He'll want to finish this fight. He'll want a convincing victory. As champion, he doesn't want to hang on to that title via a split decision. He wants a clear, concisive win. Yeah, you can tell both men want this, but who's got the heart of a champion? Who wants it more? And look at this, look, Charlie putting it on, being more aggressive in this uh, fifth round. You know, is this what he's been saving himself for? Or has he, you know, has he left it too late? And we called it earlier on in the fight, and now we just have to see if Charlie O'Neill has the extra energy to really unleash here in round number five. I'm not convinced he has. I think he's got something left in the locker, but I'm not sure it's going to be quite enough to take out Brett Stanforth. Yeah, he's, as we speak, he's done a few more uh, leg shots on uh, Brett's leg. And the way they get into this crazy flurry, this exchange, anything can happen. Charlie O'Neill just smiling there in the clinch. This man slightly, frightening me slightly. Tomek, he's eating big shots and he's coming out the other end with a bigger grin on his face than how he went in. Yeah, he certainly is. Somehow, I don't think we're going to get a knockout on this fight. No, it both seems fights. like both of these guys might have just left it a little bit too late. Yeah, they certainly have. They're, um, you know, they've, they've, they've put everything out there and they're obviously quite tired by this point. You know, they're both really tagged, breathing heavily. Both guys hands are down. You know, Brett is still landing these shots. He's uh, left and right hooks, but they're just having no effect on that, Charlie. Yeah, not only is Brett Stanford's cardio starting to dwindle now, which here in round five, nothing wrong with that, ladies and gentlemen. He's just not got enough to knock out the ever so durable Charlie O'Neill. And Charlie O'Neill, same again for him, he's not got enough to take out Brett Stanforth. Looks like this one's probably going to be going the distance. It certainly seems that way. Both guys really tired here. What have you got? Final few, 30 seconds left. Who wants it more? Who's gonna, who wants that belt around their waist? Both guys, my have open. Champions put on a stellar display. The challenger's certainly done himself no disservice here. He's done a really, really good job. He yeah, certainly has. And Brett, I think, more tired too. He keeps wanting to bump fists. Ten seconds to go. He knows he's won. Let's have it. Last flurry, guys. And Brett goes to... <laughs> he goes to put it all. Whatever all you've got. He knows. He knows he's won. A great fight. Both of these guys really giving it everything in there. Let's see who what it came down to on the judges' scorecards. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we do have a 